Grade 4 math, number 96, parallel lines. One of the easiest ways to remember what parallel lines are is to look at the word parallel. We can remember that the word parallel has two parallel lines in the word. The two L's together, those are parallel lines. Isn't that something? Makes it easy to remember, doesn't it? All right, well, parallel lines are always the same distance apart. They never cross each other, and they continue on forever, side by side, never touching each other. Isn't that sad? They keep each other company, but they never hold hands. Aww. Line AB is parallel to line PQ. See? They're side by side. They continue on in either direction, but they don't cross each other. It would be written as AB with our line symbols with the two arrows on each side over them for line. These two lines going straight up and down, like that, for parallel, and then PQ would be written as line PQ with the little line with the two arrows over the top. See? This symbol is the symbol for parallel. So you'd say line AB is parallel to line PQ. See? They're parallel to each other. Streets can be a parallel. Main Street is parallel to Elm Street. See? If we turn it that way, see how? They're going side by side and they're never going to cross each other. So on the map, they would just keep going, wouldn't they? Can you see that this street is parallel to this street? Yeah, even those are parallel to each other. Train tracks are parallel. They continue on and on, side by side, never touching. They can't because of the wheels of the train are a certain distance apart. And the tracks have to stay that way, don't they? How about the wood frames on a doorway? Did you know those are parallel? Yeah. Side by side, running up. Okay? The sides of a polygon can be parallel. This side is parallel to this side. And this side is parallel to this side. This side is parallel to this side. And even though these two are slanted, they're parallel to each other. See? They're both going the same way, and these are both going the same way. All right? So these two are parallel to each other, and these two are parallel to each other. Okay? Cars can parallel park on the street. You ever hear someone say, um, I, I have to parallel park? Well, it means they're going to park along the side of the street like that, and the rows of the cars are parallel to each other. The sides of the streets are parallel to each other. See that? That's parallel parking. So, when you see two lines that are going the same direction, like that, they're parallel. This is line CD is parallel to line EF. Can you see that? CD is parallel to EF. That's how you read it. That's how you write it. So remember, parallel has two L's and they're parallel, okay? I'm going to talk perpendicular next, and we'll explain how things can be perpendicular. I'll see you there. Bye.